Hi friends, welcome to the number six lecture uh, lecture in this course. Uh, in this course, we are in this lecture we are going to study about WinCC Web UX. So, for uh, understanding WinCC Web UX, we will make some simple program. Here, I take one button and one light. So, I just assign one internal tag of this button. Here you can see, I will go into event menu and adding a, one property like a set width. In set width, I will assign one internal tag. So as we don't have any internal tag, so I will add a, one internal tag here like a, on. Okay. I just click here ok and again I will assign new property reset bit and then the same internal tag bit on now I will assign the lights light property in light property you to go animation and appearance in appearance what you will do you will select one that's the same internal tag on and then you assign the on off property when lights is off it will show red when lights is on it will show green now you just compile it okay so we have one warning and zero error means the configuration is okay now what you have to do is you have to right click the uh, sc screen property and in web access you have to enable the web ux okay here i have enabled the web ux now go to your user administrator then uh, add one new user like alp1 in alp1 uh assign the password okay i have assigned the uh, password here okay and after assigning the uh, okay the password is something wrong so i again write the password okay so i write the password and what you do is you have to define the start screen of the start screen of the WinCC web UX. So I define the start screen and enable the web UX here. Now important thing is that I want to put this user in group of administrator. So I have put this group in WinC, uh, administrator group. Now I compile again. okay now another setting i forget to tell you go to user group and uh, in administrator group on tick 1002 in user also you enable all thing and remove 1002 so if suppose i log in using user then this can help me to access all the data okay so i again compile okay now what i will do is i will go to my pro, uh, my start screen and uh, click here scada web ux configuration uh, when you open scada web ux configuration like this screen will become you have to tick all this and untick this enable auto login and apply for configuration when you apply configuration this type of name uh, this type of IAS internet information services menu will open here it's saying that web, uh, give the website name so you can give your website name then port number 443 is useful for this web UX configuration you need to enable the all the port related to web UX in 443 in inbound and outbound rules of firewall setting okay then 
uh, here you can see you can create your own certificate uh, you have to just write your name or if you have created certificate then you can uh, drag and drop the certificate uh, which you have previously generated so for you for your concern i will generate a new uh, certificate and i will write just name here and it will generate it will generate new certificate so i just click ok and it will generate our new website it is saying that settings were applied you want to see the log file as all the things is completed properly so i don't want to see any uh, log file so i just click no and i again exit it now i start the simulation So my HOI is getting updated. Okay, so the runtime screen is on now and we will check our design. Yes, it's working okay. If I click OK on, then it's green and if I release this, it, it's red. So our simple design is working right now. So now what is our aim? Our aim is to check this, uh, our, this runtime screen in a, in a web browser. Why in a web browser? Because we want to monitor the uh, this uh, this runtime screen in web browser and in our Android or Apple mobile. So for that, I will show you first in a web browser. So in web browser, what you have to do is, yeah, uh, okay, before to, you go in web browser. Uh, you have to go in IIS services. Okay, in IIS services, you will find our WinCC Web UX website here. Okay, now you can see here my computer is connected with the Wi Fi, like Alp Android AP is my mobile, uh, mobile IP address. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to go in a binding and in binding just click here double click here here you find the ip address in this ip address uh, this is my computer 192.168.2.1 is my the computer ip address and 192.168.43.235 is the ip address of my wi-fi uh, wi-fi wi-fi okay so I will click here 192.168.43.235 and just uh, no, I don't change the port I just change the IP address which is my Wi-Fi IP address so I just click OK and close so you can see our new website IP address is here 192.168.43.235 and 443 is our port address so what i will do is i will just open uh, the internet explorer and uh, i will write here s https then 
192.1 here you can see it's came now and as soon as i will uh, write the ip address it will say this id is not secured so in more information go to the web page when you go web page it will open wincc web ux login page okay so this is the wincc web ux login page in this login page you have to uh, write the same login and username and password which you are de defined in the in the user administrator of the scada so i will write the password and when i click on login it will show me the screen of uh, the same screen of uh, runtime you can see here i just minimize this and both are synchronized now you can see both are synchronized now so whatever the ip address i have uh, you can see i i, I have uh, a use in web browser same thing we have to use in the uh, uh, in the in the android mobile or apple mobile here we are using the local uh, internet in local uh, local uh, networking what does it mean that uh, if you want to monitor the scada screen via this configuration you must be able to log in same wi-fi means same network if you log in with the different uh, ser different uh, you can say different server or different network then you will not able to monitor the vcc web ux you need more settings if you want to monitor the, this screen from remotely but right now if you want to monitor the scala screen uh, from the same network then using your mobile then you can use this configuration you can see okay now i will show uh, the mobile how we can uh, how my mobile is working uh, uh, through another video please check the next video that how i can log in in my mobile and uh, it will work same or not thanks thanks for watching this tutorial